Assalamu alaikum my dear students I am Satya Hussain lecturer department of finance and banking Today I am going to discuss chapter 7 which is share bond and debenture Assalamu alaikum my dear students today I am going to discuss chapter 7 share bond and debenture This is lecture number 1 Share, bond, and debenture issued by companies are taken as different tools of investment for the investors. Each of these tools of investment used as sources of investment has its individual features, advantages, and disadvantages. Expected income and risks of the investors from these tools of investment are different. So. An investor should know about different sides of each of these tools of investment before taking his decision for investment. In this lesson, we shall be able to know about these tools of investment from the perspectives of the investors. Share Shares can be described as the financial instrument issued by the company to raise funds from general public. The voluminous total capital of the company is divided into small units and those are sold as shares. Shares are the small part of huge capital. Buying shares can encourage the small investors, thus small investors become the owner of the company to attract the investors the company issues different types of shares different kinds of shares are explained in this lecture selling of shares is an important source of collection of fund and capital of a public limited company after gathering minimum capital with the approval of the government, applications are invited from the public through giving an advertisement in the newspapers containing a paper of statement with information about the company. When applications submitted are great in a number, shares are distributed by lottery. As a result, Small investors also can participate in investment by buying shares. They are indeed the owners of the company. If the company earns profit, it is distributed among them as dividend. The invested money of the shareholders is not refundable. However, if the liquid money is needed, the shareholders can sell these shares in the secondary market such as Dhaka stock exchange and if the price is increased there they get profit usually in the cases of profitable companies shareholders get dividend on regular basis however the rate of the company pro dividend distribution is not fixed Giving dividends is also not mandatory if no profit occurs and even if the company makes profit, total amount of profit is not distributed as dividend. If the company wishes, it can give dividends at any rate. Buying shares is a risky investment for the investors. Share issuing companies are not always bound to give dividends to the shareholders. If the company cannot make sufficient profit any year, no dividend is given to the shareholders that year. Shares are basically five types general share, priority share, deferred share right share and bonus share general share another name of general share are equity or ordinary share 
are the shares that carry voting rights at the annual general meeting of the company or differential voting rights relating to dividend voting etc ordinary shareholders share profits of the firm in the form of dividend declared by the company and bonus shares the dividend is paid to them at last that means after paying all all the taxes interest and dividend to preference shareholders features of general share provides ownership of the company general shares provide ownership of the company to the share investors as a result as an owner he has the legal rights on its profits earned and its assets gives full authority to its owners general shares give full authority to its owners to control the company shareholders control the company by applying their voting right in taking important decisions general shares are easily transferable the investor according to his wish can hand over the shares at his ownership at any time this share has also some advantages or benefits more income general shares can be a source of good income if an investor invests his money with clear knowledge and good calculations the income earned by the investor from other tools of investment like priority shares bonds and debentures is fixed but income from general shares is not fixed as a result when the company earns more the income of the investors also increases limited liability the owners of the general shares jointly bear the risks of the company the total risks of an investor are not circumstances bigger than his invested money liquidity general shares are well considered by the investors as liquid money the investor according to his wish can collect money at any time by selling the shares at his possession the liquidity of shares of all companies is not equal usually the liquidity of shares of big and good companies is higher than that of other companies these shares has also some problems or disadvantages risks investment in general shares is comparatively risky there are many speculative investors in the share market as a result there is a risk of incurring loss if the investment is not guided by knowledge and good calculations rights in profit and property distribution in distribution of profits the company has to pay first all the liabilities payable to the owners of priority shares bonds and debentures and the general shareholders have rights on the remaining profits in this way when the company is closed after paying all the liabilities of the company with the money got by selling its assets the shareholders will distribute among themselves the rest of the money that is in both the cases the rights of the owners of priority shares bonds and debentures get priority over the rights of the general shareholders priority share preference shares more commonly referred to as preferred stock are shares of a company's stock with dividends that are paid out to shareholders before common stock dividends are issued if the company enters bankruptcy preferred stockholders are entitled to be paid from
company assets before common stockholders priority share has also some features ownership priority shareholders are not considered as full owners of the company they are considered in between the owners of general shares and the owners of bonds and debentures transformability for many priority shares alternative options are there to transform them into general shares so if the investor wishes he can change his st- status to an owner of general shares advantages of priority share income at certain rate the owners of priority shares get dividend at some certain rate as a result the shareholders have less uncertainty of income priority on profit income while giving dividends owners of the priority shares get priority over the owners of the general shares claims on the properties at the time of liquidation or closure of the company claims of the owners of priority shares are first considered before meeting the claims of the owners of general shares but of course their claims are met after fulfilling the claims of the owners of debentures this share has also some problems control the priority shareholders do not have any voting right like general shareholders so they have no control over the company limited income priority shareholders rate of income is fixed hence priority shareholders do not get any share of extra profits made by the company there are also another three types of shares deferred share deferred shares are those shares for which owners receive dividends after dividends have been distributed to all other classes of shareholders in case of company closure the demands of these shareholders are fulfilled at the end generally company founders or promoters buy these types of shares for this reason it is also called promoter share right share when all shareholders get priority in shares in case of selling shares after the formation of company these shares are called right shares it means when in later time the company sells shares to collect fund and the old shareholders preserve the rights of buying those shares at that time those sellable shares are called right shares and our today's lecture's last point is bonus share when companies undivided earnings are not given out in the form of dividends but are converted into free shares these are called bonus share bonus shares are shares given to the old shareholders in a proportionate rate my dear students that's all for today's class if you have any kind of questions or queries you can call me or we can discuss in our zoom class allah hafiz